ओके वेलकम बैक इन न्यू वीडियो एंड द प्रोजेक्ट इज रिलेटेड टू अबाउट इंश्योरेंस सो वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिडिक्टिंग द इंश्योरेंस चार्ज फॉर अ पर्सन whose age is given the sex is given the bmi is given a uh, number of child the person has and did he uh, does the person smoke yes or no and what region he stay so we have given the four region uh, and uh, it is a, a continuous uh, the prediction is a continuous so our y is continuous because we are predicting the charge over here in this uh, project means in insurance project so first of all i have inst- uh, imported my libraries pandas numpy seaborn matplotlib uh, from sklearn pre processing um, imported uh, minmax scalar so we are going to scale our data uh, with by using the minmax scalar and after that uh, from model selection we have imported ten train train state split we are splitting our data and after that we i have used the linear regression so it is very simple whenever you are going with uh, continuous data you should apply a linear, linear regression because it give a more idea about a, about the the model if it works good that's fine if not you can uh, you can uh, you can use the different model for for that so i have just used the linear regression and we'll see uh, how uh, accurate uh, uh, will Uh, will this model work on uh, this data set okay so first i'll read my uh, read my uh, csv file it is uh, insurance csv you can see here and uh, it says some 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 error is given actually it is a not an error like uh, now it is a read i have created a, a html page and then i have deployed on a, uh, by using a flask i have deployed somewhere so i am going to show you in next video if you want me to complete that video in a second part i'll do it but in this video i'll going to just show you the eda part and the model how i developed okay so i have read my uh, csv file after that we use the head for get the five uh, five five first five rows so i am getting the first five rows, uh, rows and after that i'll show you the how how much uh, data in my csv file so i i am having uh, around 13 uh, 1340 rows so it is a small data you cannot use in your resume or anywhere it is just for your uh, understanding you can apply as much as uh, algos over here so to better when you work on a small data set you understand a uh, multiple thing because you can do uh, like eda uh, feature engineering feature selection but uh, at least you need uh, 10 to 20 uh, more than 10 features because here it is like seven features you cannot do much eda here but you can understand in initial level you can understand what should be done uh, as a data how to analyze data understand data because uh, sometime we take a big data at at initial level and we uh, stuck somewhere and after that we are not able to get that uh, uh, urge for developing data or what i say uh, ek sa- when we stuck somewhere na to hame wo jo like wo hota hai na ki kabhi kabhi wahan pe stuck ho jate to hum us cheez ko karna nahi pasand karte like we stop over there only uske wajah se hamara ek इंटरेस्ट और उसमें का जो इंटरेस्ट होता है ना वो कम हो जाता है सो बेटर की स्मॉल डेटा सो इट लो स्टार्टिंग में एंड उसको उस मॉडल पे वर्क करो सो बेटर इज स्टार्ट विथ सच अ डेटा सो आई हैव टेकन दिस डेटा सो आफ्टर दैट व्हाट वी हैव वी मूव फॉरवर्ड वी टेकन आवर डेटा एंड वी वी आर चेकिंग हियर कि इज देयर एनी नल नल डेटा और नॉट सो आई एम टेकिंग इज इज नल एंड डॉट सम सो आई एम गेटिंग एनी नल नल इन एनी ऑफ द वेरिएबल यू कैन सी i don't have any null in my any of the feature after that i take uh, df dot info these are the precise or uh, prerequisite when when you, when you trying to develop your model because if you don't do such a eda part like info description uh, correlation uh, what is the correlation between the uh, independent uh, uh, variable all this 
it is a ada under part but if you don't if you miss uh, it it will not affect your model but it will give you an insight about the data and that's how you develop the model it, it, okay you understand what i'm trying to say okay after that what we what we do we get uh, the some uh, some feature are object type you can see here uh, region smoker and six is the object time on all other are int and float after that i have taken the region uh, and taken the uh, value dot count so i am getting the four region over there south east southwest north east northwest and we are getting the count also after that we have like four uh, uh, three uh, you can see one two and three is object type so we are trying to convert that object type into a uh, into a, a int int format so i am using a map uh, it is a map function I'm using here and what I'm doing here, uh, I'm storing uh, the six smoke, smoker and region in the same uh, column, uh, just applying the map over there. For female in six, I, I have female and male, so I'm uh, uh, replacing female with a zero and male with one. Uh, you can do it uh, either way, you can uh, give a one to female and uh, give a zero to mail as as you wish you can do anything over there but you have to assign a uh, integer value okay after that you mm, uh, there is a uh, there is column called smoker s on s or no i have given the s as one and no as a zero you can use uh and then we have a region uh, uh for region i have applied zero one two three and uh i have not randomly assigned i have taken the uh most uh like uh, like you can see uh, northeast is uh, northeast uh, 225 so i have taken the zero and the south southeast is a uh, uh, 264 that's why i have given the three over there you can see okay after that what we what we have uh, so you can see northeast is a smallest value that's why i have given the zero and the largest value i have given the uh, 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 of three value uh, as per your convenient not is convenient sometimes you have to assign on logical chronicle view okay that's why i have applied over there and um, i actually have not run this one so i'll just go and run uh, uh, you can see here uh, also you are getting the uh, the value count also after that what i have done here i'll just uh, call my uh, df you can see the df is now converted into a int format and none of the feature in the object format so you can apply the algo over there before applying the algo i'm going to show you i have just uh, because we have a integer value or continuous value you can plot the continuous value by using the scatter plot sns dot scatter plot uh, i have given the x with the uh, charges and uh, y with bmi you can change the bm in in uh, y side you can change uh change like uh both both should be uh a continuous value you can see bmi is also continuous and charge is also con continuous so that's uh, that's why you have applied the scatter plot over there after you can see this is the uh the scatter plot of a charge versus a bmi after that i have give uh, i have get my x and y value so my x uh i i need this uh age sex bmi ch uh, children smoker and region in a in a x on a x variable and on a y i need a charge so i have taken that by using the uh split method uh split method uh you can use that if you have no idea how to split it you can go and watch on a google you just search it i log dot i log you will get it okay after that i have used on the min max scalar i have you use uh i just run this one and after that i have used the min max scalar as i mentioned before uh because we are scaling here because our value are all value are not in a one range so what we do will keep the uh, uh keep them in a one range or one format that will that will help us to apply the algo and it will work very fine because it is a small data it will work very easily if we have a data in million central lens uh then we need to do a mandatory uh, we need to do this mean max scaling because uh, otherwise it will take a, uh, a more com uh, computational time means uh, it will take time run uh, run all the code that's why we do the min max uh, scaling after that what, what i have done i have done uh, i have fit transform on my x uh, on my x uh, uh, x features so i have scale and store into a data 
so after that i have run that and you can see and i pass x and y on uh train train state split uh test size is a 20 and random state is zero after doing that i'll i'll just pass uh i've created a object of lr linear regression uh, linear regression dot uh, lr dot fit uh, and i pass my uh, x axis uh x train and uh, y train uh so you can see after that i uh if you uh, you can use the predict also lr dot uh, uh Mm, uh, predict and pass uh, uh, y test and uh, you you can predict y braid and after that y braid and uh, y uh, x test you pass and you'll, you will get the accuracy uh, and there is another way you can get the accuracy by using lr.score and you just pass x x test and y test you will get the accuracy so here you can see the accuracy is a uh, uh, 70 79.5 you can uh, 79 point uh, 90 uh, 17 percent so you what what will do i just write print uh i'll write accuracy accuracy oh sorry accuracy uh, of model is and uh, oh okay now I'm, I need to store this accuracy as a ACC. So I'll store ACC, okay, ACC as a accuracy. I'll store into accuracy. After that, what I'll do, uh, np dot round, np dot round, round, and I'll pass my uh, ACC and I'll pass two. Let's see. So okay, and I have to multiply that with uh, hundred. Okay, just give me a second. Uh, so I'll get the 79% 79 of accuracy you can see here. So what I've done, I just take uh, two, two, two decimal value and I'll just pass my ACC and multiply it with 100. So after that, I use the uh, uh, imported uh, model called pickle and I try to pickle that and uh, uh, unpickle that serialize and deserialize over here but I'm I'm not going to talk this thing in my uh, in this video I'll I'll do it a uh, part two and I'll explain if you want me to explain I'll do it for you because I have created the HTML page then see uh, develop some uh, uh, CSS and uh, by using a flask I have deployed on uh, somewhere so I'll show you but let's see so thank you for watching this video in this video we have uh, done our project 11 uh, but it is not for a resume or you cannot add on your linkedin but it is a, a full proof project you can uh, do uh, as much as work on this you can develop a different model by using uh, uh, this uh, same data set uh, so thanks for watching this video and stay tuned okay see you in the next video I'll just do 